Hey what's up guys, it's Daffro Gaming here and today we're going to be talking about these two new apps I created along with why developers might not want to actually look into using Unity for Android game development. So basically uh, this is my first app, Steam Wallet Code Generator and it, it looks pretty clickbait I have to admit. You guys are probably going to think it's a huge scam and what I actually want to show you guys is it's not like the type of scam that it appears on the Google Play Store. Uh, I made this app in Unity and uh, basically what it does is it just generates all the possible random steam codes that there are with a random number generator so theoretically every one of these could be legitimate but at the same time it's highly unlikely I explain the odds I even say how it works and how we just use a random code generator you see the problem is with unity they don't use density pixels um, and this is my first issue with unity for Android they're great for uh, computer and everything else I have to say I have no problems with unity for anything else but when it comes to Android this just does not look like their piece of cake or piece of pie um, iOS I can't quite say the same thing just because it seems to be a little bit different between the two for development but especially Android anyways uh, what I'm trying to get at is on when you uh, when you open up this app it actually looks different for everybody on everyone's different screens uh, right now on my phone uh, this is o over an emulator but on my phone these buttons are actually inside the gray this is moved up this is underneath actually this is up here above um, in small letters uh, everything is k placed really well um, this is on an emulator on my computer. As you can see, it looks much, much different. I wouldn't quite design it like this because that's just kind of awkwardly placed buttons, especially this one. And uh, I actually realized I was getting a lot of poor reviews because my app was not scaling to different people's phones because Unity actually does not have that built in as a feature that I know of. So basically what I had to do was I had to create this button where well, basically it takes this exact system right here and it just makes it for smaller phones so that way they can generate well you see I upload this update exact one to Google Play and it gets rejected because Google Play for some reason thought I was selling users information or something this requires absolutely no users information and that's what I told them but for some reason they uh, they decided that they would not publish my update because it was quote unquote um, destructive of users now I'm read the terms and whatnot just to double check and make sure I wasn't violating anything because that's not my intent and really I, I think there's just miscommunication there um, anyways because this update is not actually on uh, on Google Play some users it cuts off these last uh, these last four or five digits and it, it pretty much screws it over because they don't see those digits and then they think oh I I have the full code but you know I'm not showing the last digits because I'm one of those scam people on the internet who does that where you can generate but you can't see the last digits well now I, I generate them completely it's just you know you don't have a very high likelihood like any code um, another problem that is with unity this app is 20 megabytes my other app right here percent calculator that, that app is like 2 megabytes and it has pretty much everything in it that this app has just a little bit less okay this app should really only be five megabytes maximum absolutely maximum um, but that's that's not the case whatsoever so that's another thing that's wrong with unity because it seems like they're actually installing the player every time that a person installs a unity app so therefore it just stacks up megabytes on android i don't know if it's the same way for iOS because I haven't actually published for iOS but at least that's the way it is on Android I'll have a link to this app in the description if you guys would like to check that out I know I got a lot of positive reviews from my pizza calculator app because people said that it was a lot of great inspiration for them so I thought I might as well upload this too anyways that's Steam code generator now on to percent calculator now this app was made in uh, Android Studio instead of Unity. This app is roughly three megabytes. It's uh, it it's not locked to portrait view because I couldn't figure out how to. I didn't actually look into it. I forgot uh to lock it or look into locking it, but it, it really doesn't matter if it's locked or not. They can still see everything. This app actually scales to your phone and your device, so this stuff will always be in the center of your device, portrait or non-portrait, which uh. 
it pretty much just sets up the app to look much much cleaner where unity this the skin will look different on everyone's device this this side could even cut into these buttons so they can't even fully click on the buttons which is just ridiculous anyways I just came out with this like a day ago I'm trying to learn how to use Android Studio so that way more of my apps can uh, can work much more fluidly and um, can pretty much have all the unique features that are integrated in Android Studio because it's much much built <laughs> much more built for uh, app development unlike Unity which is much more geared to game development so I'm looking into doing that this is really just a simple simple test not necessarily a test but it's just a simple design uh, so you go ahead it, it it's what percent of what so you calculate the percentage for instance um, 10% of 100, this will be 10 because that is 10% of 100, yeah. It just calculates that really, really simple percent calculator, but the plus is, you know, my app file size is less than 5 megabytes, <laughs> much less than 20 megabytes, and the design is not going to get cut off by the edges. So that's all I have for this video, you guys. If you guys would like to support me, click on these ads that you see. Um, I'm not supposed to tell anybody to do that. Uh, but, you know, if you want to just support the developers, that is something you can always do if you see ads. Uh, also, I think I might have a link to a uh, an app called TAD in the description. You guys can check that out. I, th I think it's meant for supporting developers. I'm just testing it out, see what it's like. You know what I mean? So if you guys would like to support me that way, you can too. Um, everything is free, of course. And that's pretty much it. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if this gave you guys any inspiration into app development. And it, as always, I would say, you know, to leave on a good note, use Android Studio if you can instead of Unity for gate art for app development. Game development, leave it to Unity. You know, they've got that covered. But to any developers out there who are young, you know, look into uh, Android Studio right away, I would say. Because this... I, this just can't, it can't work when you're on the Google Play Store, you know? You can't have an app that cuts off your numbers and doesn't look good on, on everyone's screen because literally, like, 50% of my poor reviews are just because people can't see those extra codes. So I'll have both apps in the description. Check me out um, on TAD if you guys would like, and that's it. See you guys later.